Your vehicle's alternator is essential to keeping it running smoothly and charging the battery. The alternator and battery are connected by a fuse or fusible link, which can fail and result in a number of issues that could leave you stranded on the road. In this video, we'll go over the most typical signs of a blown alternator fuse or the link so you can quickly spot the issue and take care of it before it gets out of hand. It's Max the Car Guy, subscribe and let's get started. Electrical Issues The main indication that there is a problem with your vehicle's charging circuit is the sudden occurrence of one or more strange electrical problems. Many automotive systems may start acting erratically if your battery's voltage starts to drop from lack of charge. Dead Battery A quick inspection of your alternator's fusible link is advised if you try to start your car but are unable to do so due to a lack of power. When a fuse blows, the alternator is unable to charge the battery of a car as intended leaving the battery completely depleted of voltage and amps. Dimming lights. If you start to notice that your car's lights seem dim, there may be a problem with the charging system. While there could be a number of problems, it is important to keep an eye out for any blown alternator fuses or fusible links. Low charge light. If the low charge light in your vehicle's instrument cluster suddenly appears, there is almost certainly a problem with the alternator circuit. You should perform a quick continuity check on the alternator fuse in your car. Stalling. In the worst case scenario, a blown alternator fuse could cause a vehicle to actually crash while it is still moving. This happens when a car's charging system malfunctions, causing the battery to discharge. It will feel as though someone suddenly turned the key in the impacted vehicle to the off position when this happens. Burnt or distorted fuse or fusible link. Numerous times, a quick visual inspection will reveal that an alternator's fusible link has blown. The actual link will appear warped, damaged, or burned. If there is still any question, a digital multimeter can be used to check the condition of the fusible link. A blown fuse can be identified by looking for continuity between the two ends of this link. Failure would be indicated by a break in continuity. What to know about starting fuse failure? It's critical to keep in mind that a car's starting fuse does not abruptly and randomly blow. This needs to happen in the presence of a sizable voltage spike or intermittent short to ground. This is why it's critical to identify the root cause of an alternator fuse blowing in a vehicle. If you don't, you risk failing repeatedly. A blown alternator fuse may have several likely underlying causes, including internal alternator faults and poor circuit connections. In such cases, an excessive current draw can result in an excessive thermal load on the circuit in question, burning the inline fusible link. A dead battery being jump-started is yet another frequent reason for blown alternator fuses. This most frequently happens when the battery and charging circuits are subjected to an excessive load during a jump start or when the jumper cable is unintentionally short to a ground source. Unless, of course, such aggravating circumstances should recur, replacing the damaged fuse will work as a workable repair in such a situation. Fuse versus Fusible Link Many well-intentioned drivers mix up fusible links and general-purpose fuses. Most people refer to a fuse when discussing an alternator or alternator circuit but they really mean to refer to the fusible link of the charging system. The majority of the time, a fusible link is also present between the alternator and battery in addition to the inline fuse that is present in the majority of vehicles and ultimately powers one or more relays in the charging circuit. This particular fusible link's function is to safeguard a number of vehicle systems from potentially disastrous voltage spikes. A spike of this kind without such protection could melt wires, destroy intelligent modules, or even ignite a fire. Fusible links are intended to burn through and separate, creating an open state within a specific circuit and stopping further damage to the electrical system. Fusible links typically consist of wire that is much smaller than that which is typically present in the circuit to which it is connected. In the event that an overcurrent condition should develop, this effectively creates a weak point where controlled wire failure may occur. The blown fusible link needs to be changed in order to successfully re-energize this specific circuit. Where is the alternator fuse located? The inline alternator fuse or fusible link for a vehicle will typically be situated between the positive lug of the battery and the positive alternator cable. Alternately, this fusible link may be found on some vehicles running between the positive leads of the battery and the primary positive connection on the fuse or junction box. A standard fuse for your car will typically be kept in the fuse box in the engine compartment. The fuse will be larger than the typical blade fuses that are used for smaller electrical components like tail lights because an alternator requires a high amp fuse. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.